what's up guys <coughs> welcome back to my channel how are you all doing so today um i'm gonna be telling you guys my math experience based off of the the title of this video i wanted to do this video like for a while now but i haven't really had the time to being Postcast to meet me, whatever that word is. I struggle with that word, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight to the point, okay? But before this video starts, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you wanna hear. Tell me, um, like your questions. I'm gonna make a video on um my shipping out experience and uh um my testing experience this is more like an overall experience like what to expect when you go to mass however if whatever you are going to do if you're going to mass for your physical or you're going to mass for your ASVAB testing let me know what you want to know. I'm going to share what I experienced based off of my own time. And hopefully that helps you out. So I have this whole thing written out down here. And I'm going to go ahead and say it the way it is. Okay, so first of all, I believe it depends on where you're going. Like where the maps is at. Your state, your city, or whatever. Um, yeah. So where I went to, um, at first I was shipped out, like I was supposed to be at MAPS tomorrow morning because it's usually, for me it was usually early morning so there was no way I could get there like by the time they needed me there. So I had to go there the day before and I got there, I was lodged out in a hotel and um, there was food to eat, <coughs> there was food to eat, excuse me. And we ate that night. It was during COVID. We were told not to. You know, the whole um, COVID thing, put your mask on and, and all that really normal thing. So we did that. And then the next month, the, the next morning, we did, um, what's it called? It's like, it's like you check this thing to make sure everybody's there. And then you have to pass out your temperature and whatever you gotta check your temperature to be sure you don't have COVID symptoms and stuff like that and then we, I caught a bus it's like a shuttle that comes to pick you guys up and I went down to maps we got a maps it was freezing cold early in the morning and we were standing outside so first what they did we were separated by what we came to do if we came for testing or if we came for physical. So uh, the first, yes, the overall, remember I'm giving you an overall experience. I don't want to mess it up. So you're going to be separated depending on what you came there for. And then um, getting inside, you're going to be checked, the extra scanning and whatever. You'll be told where to put your bag and um your bag and basically everything your phone your smartwatch i don't believe i was allowed to wear that day that day i think you don't have to you can wear anything that is smart or whatever have your phone in you you can wear like your regular wristwatch and stuff but other than that no and no food is allowed i believe except for the lunch they provide you because they do provide lunch during lunch time and um so we walk in you drop your bag and then you'll be sent to your counselor depending on the branch of service you're trying to go to and um i was going to the army so i went to the army at initially i didn't know he just said walk go to the go to your counselor and i'm like okay i don't have a counselor here so <laughs> But yeah, you go to a counselor and they tell you what to do, what they give you like a sticker or whatever that has your, <clears throat> that has your name on it. And um, yeah, so this, the, I think the top thing we did was that they told me where to go for the testing and then 
I went over there that will give you like your is that like a I believe they gave me a pencil or something and you have to shed in the answer on your tantrums and stuff and the questions were on the on a computer um I believe that was what happened because I remember someone yelling at me because a pencil broke and something like that and yeah I would like to say because many people get scared of maps and like they're scared of the people there or what they have heard overall I didn't have that much of a terrible experience however I did encounter some road signals and then it's more like you don't know anything and you're just there everybody is trying to be um soldier like I guess so some of the civilians they rude to you they talk to you anyhow and for me ultimately I just think it's about you know what you came for and just shutting your mind out from whatever it is they have to say that it's not pertaining to what you came for basically overlooking like whatever attitude they're putting up to tense you up so um yeah you might experience that too because some people do but overall it wasn't that bad and then um i waited for my ride to come back to pick me up and i was out of mess this is an overall experience okay if you i'm gonna be putting up a video on my as well testing um or i'm gonna be putting up a video on my shipping out my as of testing my physical testing my experience with that so you guys let me know and also on my shipping out day so let me know what you want to hear so i can put it in there or else i'm just gonna put up like what i know so i can answer your questions if not i'll just put up like what I experienced you know and yeah basically that is it that is it my advice is just I know it's okay to be nervous but as much as you can just go there like a normal person and be ready um, for whatever it is that it's gonna be out there do your best take your eyes of test if that's what you came for if it's for the physical do your best watch videos prior to you going prepare your mindset just so you know what you're walking into and then um <clears throat> and just hope for the best honestly hope for the best so i'll uh, see you guys in my next video peace out <laughs>